CFP started with um, a group of people who were interested in reaching out to um, people in their communities um, which, that we could consider as less privileged. And then we started by organizing concerts where we gathered uh, musicians and children from orphanages and we just played an art form we ate and then we shared relief uh, material. Subsequently, we started to organize picnics, Easter picnics, Children's Day celebration, just to celebrate children from um, a number of um, orphanage homes in our community. Uh, subsequently, we decided to uh, formalize the organization and the name Christian Food Aid was the choice that um, we, we selected. CFA as an organization cares for people and if you follow the scripture in Matthew 25, 35 to 36 where God commanded that we help the needy, we feed the poor, clothe the naked and give drink to the thirsty. That's the major concern and focus of CFA and when we do all these things we're actually doing it for God and God will always reward our labor of love. The vision for CFA is no one goes to bed hungry tonight. It is a tall order to say that we don't want anybody to go to bed hungry tonight. But we know what Jesus told us that we should not forget the poor in our midst. That um, when we give to those who do not have, it's as though we are giving to him. So we want to go everywhere, all over the world reaching out to people first in our immediate environment and wherever the Lord will strengthen us, reaching out to people and uh, bringing the love of God to them, putting food on their table and helping them to develop uh, resilience, helping them to develop um, sustainability in their own lives such that no longer will they ever need to go to bed hungry. The CFA project includes what we call unconditional cash transfer where we identify families and individuals who are in need of assistance where we transfer uh, token to them on a monthly basis to add to whatever they have so they're able to stand back on their feet without any conditions attached another project we are back on is outreaches to the to orphanages we've done a couple of that in the past where we organized easter picnic and children's day picnic where fun activities were carried out and at the end of it they were given relief items. Another poem outreach we do is the prison outreach where we identify prisons in our environment and go there with relief items and leave them with the love of God. I've been in CFA since 2017. Hi as a volunteer work on projects for example um, feed work. If you had to go to a furniture homes to find out what their person it is, if you had to host them, um, we find out how and what it takes to host them. Also, planning. We plan for um, programs and events. So we do the planning. If you had to get a program done, what it takes to get a perfect execution. Also, recording and documentation. We um, we take minutes of events and programs. Volunteers form a very important part of what we do in CFA. A lot of our projects, activities, field work, outreaches are supported and carried out by volunteers. They come to serve God and they come to serve people. So some of our volunteers are university students, they are married people from all shades of life. It's a joy to serve and CFA creates that opportunity. What we are looking forward to do is evolving a strong volunteer program where people can apply from anywhere in the world to be part of what we are doing in CFA. So it could be internship, it could be three months program, um, which will involve an, uh, as an international program that people can come from anywhere to participate in. Life itself is about serving people CFA as an organization, our mission is to serve people and setting up and starting this NGO is our own service to humanity. The projects of CFA are primarily funded by donors. So we have people who give uh, to, to us our projects, 
who gave either um, towards the daily runnings of uh, of of our of the organization. Uh, people who give from time to time to support either a particular project or generally just to uh, support the work we are doing. The flagship project that we have is what we tag Adopt a School Child Project, where we identify 40 children of very low socioeconomic families, where we support them with relief materials and um, school items, such so that they have a conducive environment to thrive during the course of the project, we'll be empowering the parents with training and skills and also start them up so that they are stable to take up the responsibility afterwards. My most memorable moment, 2019, during Children's Day, we had a program. We brought six orphanages from together. So during the program, there was a lot of fun, Bansi Castle and all that. So while the program was going on, a couple of the um, children came to me and said, Thank you for inviting me. You know, the smile on their face was golden and then their joy was overflowing. So, you know, that very moment was, was, was it for me. Like, I was full of joy. And generally, it's been a great experience. One of the things I've told our people is one day we'll put on our TVs and um, see on CNN, CFA responding to flood in Southeast Asia or somewhere else around the world. We believe that what we have started will evolve to be a strong international organization that can respond to disaster or emergency or any other um, problems that um, people have anywhere in the world. <laughs>